like, you know, kind of stretch it a little bit, like, you know, kind of pull on and get it ready for getting into, I feel like I'm like getting ready for the Olympics or something. <laughs> is noble strength and welcome to my channel how are you doing and happy fall to you because the last time i uploaded it was still summer so happy fall happy autumn i am just loving this weather that we are having in georgia it is in the 70s there's a breeze blowing the sun is shining the skies are blue <laughs> i absolutely love this weather i love this time of the year it's just so refreshing so today, and I hope you guys are doing well if I didn't say that already, but today I am going to be featuring and sharing with you some things that I got from House of Hot. And if you're not familiar with House of Hot, House of Hot is, you know, this fashion boutique, online boutique, and they also have a store in Texas. I'll leave the information, everything in the description box below. They do have a storefront in Texas, and the owner is Tony, and um, Tony actually has a YouTube channel, which I'm also going to link in the description box below, and she did not reach out to me. This is not a partnership or a collab or anything like that. I have just been wanting to purchase some things from her company since it's a black owned company you know I want to support uh, that company and speaking of black owned company these earrings right here that I'm wearing how many of you remember 45s those 45 records where these are some earrings from uh, gritty soul and I actually got these a while back and I think I did a video on them I'll link them in the description box below but that is another black owned business as well but today we're going to be talking about some items I picked up from House of Hot. So House of Hot has been around for a while. I'm not sure when it was founded, but I know it's been around a while because I've been on YouTube for, I guess five going on six years. And I know Tony's had her business for at least that amount of time and she's probably had it longer. But um, I got these liquid pants. Now guys, I know, look at this, how tiny this is. This is like freaking me out. So let me just show you how they came packed. They came packed nice and neat in this cute little pink pouch with the House of Hot label. And then the two items that I purchased are small items. So they fit, you know, nicely in this weatherproof packaging and they were individually wrapped as well, very well. So they all came in good condition or I should say both pieces came in good condition because I only got two things. But I got these liquid pants. I was wanting to step outside the box. You know, I like to try to venture out of my comfort zone every now and then. So these pants are not gonna be for everyone, especially if you're more on the conservative side. These reminded me of the pants that Sandy wore in Grease in the ending scene. And Grease is one of my favorite musicals. I know I'm rambling, guys. I'm gonna get to the clothes in just a minute. But <laughs> Grease is one of my favorite movies of all time musicals. And you know, in the end, when she says, I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control. She was wearing some pants similar to this. So I just was like feeling all grease vibes and everything. But anyway, back to the pants. So yeah, they kind of look small. They're a medium, and I'm hoping I can fit them. But they seem to be firm, and they do give. They have some stretch in them. But I don't know if they're going to stretch maybe they will it's kind of like a balloon almost but i hope they don't snap like a balloon but anyway so these are the pants and they do have like kind of a nice kind of feel on the inside so i like that i like that and the stitching seems to be really really good i know i'm all over the place this is such a, a mess right but anyway I love these. They are just leggings, guys. They're just leggings, but they're called liquid leggings because it's supposed to look like they've been poured onto your body, basically. You know, they're really tight, okay? So I'm going to show you the next item I got, and then we're going to see if I can get into these bad boys. 
we we gotta see if I can get in those. Okay, so the next I'm in face belt and it was $18. That's what I love about uh, this House of Hot. The prices are really reasonable prices and this is a faux or vegan leather belt, if you will. And I just thought this would be a jazzy belt since I'm always wearing my go-to belt, Tory Burch belt. I wanted to have another belt that had the gold head or gold, you know, accent detailing on the buckle part that I could kind of switch up my look every now and then. So I got this and I think $18 is a really good price for this vegan leather belt. It does have a lot of adjustable holes in it. So this is a size, um, let's see. I think this is a fits most size belt. And that's why it has so many holes. So it pretty much fits you. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you about the name of these pants. So these pants, these are called the Ari Liquid Leggings. And like I said, I got them in a size medium. So guys, what we're about to do now is we're going to see if I can fit in these things. Because look, look at this. <laughs> I don't know if I can fit. Well, we're going to see. And then if they fit, guys, I'm going to do a styling for you. And I'm going to style these uh, leggings five different ways. That's correct five different ways and even if you're not into the liquid leggings look this would work with black pants this would work with uh black you know your regular black leggings if you will so i hope you get some fashion inspiration that is if i can fit these bad boys <laughs> but stick around uh i'm gonna do a, a try out of these first and then i'll do a styling if they fit all right and like subscribe click the notification bell all that good stuff so much energy today and I really didn't plan this video out so I feel like I'm all over the place but I love you thank you for sticking around and uh yeah let's try these on all right guys I wanted to do like a side-by-side -side comparison of me and the pants you can see look how tiny this waist is oh my goodness so I feel like I need to like you know kind of stretch it a little bit like you know, kind of pull on and get it ready for getting into. I feel like I'm like getting ready for the Olympics or something. <laughs> We're gonna see if I can get into these. All right, enough goofiness. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's do this. So I got them on, as you can see. Now here's the verdict. So what was it like pulling them on? Well, pulling them on, you have to work like you're putting on hosiery. I know. Hosiery is kind of outdated and a lot of people don't do it, but you, it's like you're trying to be careful as you pull them up. And it kind of feels like, you know, a balloon, like the rubberness of a balloon. And you kind of feel like you don't want to put a hole in it, but they're actually quite durable. So it's like some type of liquid coating on top of a, a regular fabric. So it is quite durable. So once I kind of inch them up, one leg at a time then i kind of like went back down and kind of gathered them to pull them up so they fit in the crotch area all right so that's that about pulling them on now i'm going to lift up my shirt and kind of show you what it looks like um as far as this part so it does have a really wide band which i really like and this sucks you in i like that that's really nice all right, and then this is what it looks like from the side. So you do have a seam on the band here, but no seams on the leg. So you have a very smooth leg, which I like. You only have the inner seam going down, but the outward part has no seam, which is really nice for a smooth look. And then for the back side, this is what it looks like. And so you have a 360 of what the liquid leggings look like. I actually like them. And I think they're perfect for fall and winter because I don't know if there's a lot of breathing going on in this material because of the coating, but you'll definitely be warm, that's for sure, which I really, really like. And now I'm going to do a styling for you. So if you're into that type of thing, go ahead, stick around, like, and subscribe. I'll be right back. So look number one, and yes, these are side by sides, but I'm considering it one look because I only changed up the shoes and that's because I couldn't make up my mind, but I know you'll help me out in the comments below. But when you are wearing these liquid leggings, you cannot go wrong by wearing your favorite bright colored blazer or coat on top of an all black palette. And then just put on your favorite pair of shoes and add your favorite handbag for me, you know I love red, so I 
threw on this red blazer and the leopard print pumps are a statement piece and they pull out the leopard print in the bag and so you can kind of use your bag as your little palette to play off of or your blazer or vice versa the black boots are a little bit more slimming and a little bit more classic look but I think I like the leopard print pumps more. Which one do you like best? So this is look number two and I'm sticking with the same black palette except I added the Lila Lion belt and a leopard print jacket that I thrifted and still have the leopard print shoes on. I went for all black and a black bag because I really wanted the leopard print to be the showcase, but you could always do a colorful bag for a pop of color. This look is giving me like Jersey Girl vibes or Peggy Bundy from Married With Kid vibes. <laughs> this is what it reminds me of, but I still like it. You know, it's something that you could rock for, you know, a date night or something like that, but it's really cute. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What would you change up? Love to hear from you. For look number three, I am going for that 100% guaranteed pull together look and that is the black leggings and the black blazer with the graphic tee look. You will definitely look urban chic with this look. You can't go wrong and all you have to do is put on your favorite pair of shoes, pumps, sandals, and your favorite handbag and you are ready to go. You're looking dressy casual. You're ready for an evening date. You're ready for just, you know, a night out. And I think this is a fun look. For look number four, I wanted to go for a more playful, laid back look. This is still giving me urban vibes, but in a more kind of laid back way, more casual. So I have my Coca-Cola hoodie top on underneath a biker jacket, and I'm carrying my camera bag and wearing my Converse sneakers. And I just think this is, you know, really cool, comfy, feel but still pull together you know and that's look number four for look number five i was going for a cozy and comfy look so i paired this kind of oversized cardigan that i thrifted with the liquid leggings and i also put the lila belt around it to kind of define and cinch the waist. I like the contrast of the white and black, and I like the nice print that this cardigan has. I think it adds an element of interest to this overall look. And I paired it with the black boots because I think it's very elongating and slimming. So this is look number five. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Well, here's a bonus look. All the other stylings, I was wearing a jacket of some sort, so I decided to show you what it looks like without the jacket so you can really see the belt and the leggings. Well, that is it. I actually love them. I think they are really hot because the price is right. $18, $28, you can't beat that. Tony, I love your shop, girl, and I just wanted to shout you out. I'm a happy customer. And I just wanted to share that with others. I want to support Black-owned businesses, especially my sisters. And you can check out House of Hot on Instagram. She has her own House of Hot online boutique. And she also has her physical location in Texas. I'll leave all that information in the description box below. So definitely hop on over. There's something for everybody. She's got a lot more beautiful things in her shop. And my name is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength. Remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much. And I will be seeing you real soon. Bye. What's happening, stud? I got chills, they're multiplying. And I'm losing control. The power.
little supply here. It's a lecture. 